The global semiconductor industry, long dominated by a handful of companies in the United States, Europe, South Korea, and Taiwan, is undergoing a seismic shift as China accelerates its efforts to achieve self-reliance in advanced chip manufacturing. At the heart of this transformation lies the development of homegrown extreme ultraviolet EUV and deep ultraviolet DUV lithography machines, technologies once deemed nearly impossible for China to master. Spearheaded by Huawei and a coalition of state-backed research institutes and manufacturers, China's breakthroughs in these critical tools are not only reshaping its technological future but also challenging the geopolitical dynamics of the ongoing U.S.-China tech rivalry. Before I go further, we need your support to continue bringing you the latest news, analysis and life information. Please give us your support, smash the like button, comment, share and subscribe to all. In 2023 I wrote a book called China 2023. The epic of global dominance about China achieving global dominance in 2023. That's right, China already achieved global dominance. It already happened. My book is an unbiased analysis of how it happened, the history of China's re-emergence in the short span of the past 40 years. My book also predicted China's rapid high-tech revolution, Russia winning the Ukraine war, the splitting of the world into two camps of the global south and the west. The goal of China is to bring prosperity and harmony to the world. All my predictions have become reality. This power shift has deep and far-reaching impacts on the future of humanity. Please click the links below to view my book and purchase. We need your support to continue. Back to the subject of today's episode. Lithography machines are the linchpin of semiconductor fabrication. These systems use concentrated beams of light to etch intricate circuit patterns onto silicon wafers, determining the density and performance of transistors on a chip. DUV lithography, which employs light with a wavelength of 193 nanometers, has been the workhorse of the industry for decades, enabling the production of chips at nodes as advanced as 7 nanometers through techniques like multiple patterning. However, as the demand for smaller, faster, and more energy-efficient chips surged, Driven by applications in artificial intelligence, 5G, and quantum computing, the limitations of DUV became apparent. Enter EUV lithography. Operating at a wavelength of just 13.5 nanometers, EUV systems can print circuits with unparalleled precision, eliminating the need for complex multi-patterning processes. This technology is indispensable for manufacturing chips at 5 nanometers nodes and beyond, which power flagship smartphones, advanced military systems, and high-performance computing infrastructure. For years, the Dutch firm ASML has held a global monopoly on EUV machines, with each unit costing over $150 million and comprising over 100,000 components sourced from a multinational supply chain. The complexity of EUV technology, combined with export restrictions imposed by the US, left China reliant on foreign tools, a vulnerability that became untenable amid escalating geopolitical tensions. The U.S. campaign to stifle China's semiconductor ambitions began in earnest in 2019, when the Trump administration pressured the Dutch government to block ASML from exporting UV lithography machines to Chinese firms like Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation SMIC. This move was part of a broader strategy to deny China access to advanced technologies, from chip design software to manufacturing equipment. By 2023, the Biden administration expanded these restrictions to include even older generation DUV systems, aiming to cripple China's ability to produce legacy chips essential for industries ranging from automotive to consumer electronics. The rationale was clear, without EUV and DUV machines, China's chip makers would remain perpetually behind global leaders like TSMC and Samsung. Yet, rather than capitulating, China responded with a national mobilization effort. The government launched the Semiconductor Independence Initiative, channeling billions of dollars into research and development while fostering collaboration between state-owned enterprises, private corporations, and academic institutions. Huawei, already a global leader in 5G and telecommunications, emerged as a central player in this endeavor, leveraging its expertise in photonics, materials science, and precision engineering to tackle the lithography challenge. Developing UV lithography requires overcoming three monumental technical hurdles, generating a stable high-power light source, crafting defect-free optics capable of reflecting EUV wavelengths, and achieving nanometer-level precision in wafer positioning. ASML's solution, perfected over two decades, 
involves firing high-energy lasers at microscopic tin droplets to create plasma that emits 13.5 nanometers light. This light is then directed through a series of ultra-smooth mirrors, each polished to atomic-level perfection, before striking a photomask and projecting the circuit pattern onto a silicon wafer. China's approach, while shrouded in secrecy, appears to draw on a combination of indigenous innovation and cross-industry synergy. Huawei, alongside Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment SME and the China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation KASIC, has reportedly made significant strides in the following areas. 1. Light Source Development Researchers at the Chinese Academy of Sciences have adapted technologies from the country's nuclear fusion projects to create a compact laser-driven plasma source. By optimizing the timing and energy of laser pulses, they achieved a stable UV light output, a critical milestone. 2. Precision Optics The Chongchun Institute of Optics, known for its work on satellite imaging systems, developed multilayer mirrors with reflectivity rates exceeding 70% at 13.5 nanometers. These mirrors, coated with alternating layers of silicon and molybdenum, are produced using ion beam deposition techniques originally refined for space telescopes. 3. Metrology and Control Systems Huawei's advancements in 5G, enabled motion control and AI-driven calibration algorithms have been integrated into lithography stages, enabling sub-nanometer accuracy in wafer alignment. For DUV systems, SME announced in late 2023 the completion of a 28 nanometers immersion lithography machine capable of producing mature node chips for electric vehicles, industrial robots, and Internet of Things IoT devices. While less advanced than ASML's latest DUV tools, this machine marks China's first step toward displacing imported equipment in legacy chip production. SME's 28 nanometers DUV machine is currently undergoing testing at SMIC and HUA Hong Semiconductor, with mass production expected by 2025. This timeline aligns with China's goal of achieving 70% self-sufficiency in legacy chips by 2025, a target that would insulate its manufacturing sector from future export controls. The implications of China's lithography breakthroughs extend far beyond technical autonomy. By mastering EUV and DUV technologies, China is constructing a self-contained semiconductor ecosystem. From chip design Huawei's to silicon to fabrication SMIC to equipment manufacturing SME. This vertical integration not only mitigates the risk of U.S. sanctions but also positions China as a competitor in the global semiconductor market. Domestically, access to advanced lithography tools will accelerate China's ambitions in emerging fields like artificial intelligence, where custom-designed chips are critical for training large language models. DeepSeek has already announced cooperation with Huawei using chips procured by Huawei to joint develop an AI cloud platform. Internationally, Chinese equipment manufacturers could undercut ASMLS pricing, particularly in developing markets seeking affordable alternatives. Moreover, China's progress has spurred investment in post-lithography technologies such as quantum dot lasers and photonic integrated circuits, which could redefine chip manufacturing in the coming decades. The Chinese government has directed the industry to use energy-efficient chips, which reportedly renders NVIDIA's H2O cutdown version specially designed for Chinese market not suitable in China, hugely affecting NVIDIA's annually 17 billion US dollars business in China. Regarding UV progress, Huawei recently announced its self-developed laser-induced discharge plasma extreme ultraviolet source technology LDP, reducing the size of the UV machine by over 30% and cutting energy consumption by 40%. It is believed these EUV machines self-developed by Huawei are already testing 7 nanometers chips with 85% yield rate. Huawei's production plants in Dongguan has already received orders from local buyers for EUV machines lined up for production and delivery up to 2026. The US response to China's advances has been a mix of skepticism and escalation. While some officials dismiss China's claims as exaggerated, others advocate for stricter export controls and secondary sanctions targeting third country suppliers. ASML, caught in the crossfire, has warned that overzealous restrictions could accelerate China's indigenization efforts, a sentiment echoed by European and Asian allies wary of losing access to the Chinese market. ASML recently announced going forward it will no longer make public its business information with China, signaling ASML would not be part of the game of sanctioning China anymore. Ultimately, China's progress in lithography underscores a broader truth, 
technological containment is a double-edged sword. By forcing China to innovate under pressure, the U.S. sanctions have inadvertently catalyzed the rise of a rival semiconductor superpower, one that is increasingly capable of shaping the future of global tech leadership. Conclusion, China's mastery of EUV and DUV lithography marks a pivotal moment in the 21st century technology race. The country's ability to replicate, and eventually refine, these systems signals the erosion of Western dominance in high-tech manufacturing. For China, the journey toward semiconductor sovereignty is not merely about circumventing sanctions, it is a declaration of intent in an era where technological prowess defines national power. As the US and its allies recalibrate their strategies, the world is witnessing the dawn of a multipolar tech landscape, one where innovation, no matter its origin, cannot be contained. Thank you for watching. We need your support to continue bringing you the latest news, analysis, and life information. Please give us your support, smash the like button, comment, share and subscribe to all. Click on the links below to view and purchase my book. Thank you for your support.